Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living. And I'm Marie. Uh, we hope everyone's having a great day this week. Uh, today is our Sunday chat for March the 17th of 2024. Our weather today is cloudy and in the mid-60s. And uh, we're just looking forward to a wonderful day today. Uh, Sunday is St. Patrick's Day, so for everyone that celebrates uh, St. Patrick's Day. We want to wish you a happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I think I do have a little Irish blood in my uh, descendants, mm -hmm. and uh, but we don't celebrate it big time. We usually cook something special or something, but that's about it, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, for today's uh, devotional, we're going to start off. Maria's going to do a devotion, and it's on John 16, 33. Okay, it says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. And Calvin's already told the scripture. It was John 16, uh, 33. And today's special is Jesus is the strongest. It says, do you find it comfort?" comforting to know that Jesus understood that life is full of all kinds of trouble. Isn't that true? <laughs> Nothing surprises him. Even people who follow Jesus will have trouble, but he promised to give peace to those who follow him. Yes, it is nice to know that um, we do have someone that we can uh, go to when uh, we are having um, troubles in this life. And, uh, there are a lot of them, and me and Kevin's <laughs> been going through a, a lot lately, haven't we, Kevin? We sure have. <laughs> but we, we're glad that we have uh, Jesus and, uh, to rely on, and uh, the Word to rely on, and uh, His uh, strength. Does that mean that He will take the troubles away? No. <laughs> no, but He promised to be with you as you go through them. And me and Kevin, we found that to be true, and I'm sure all of you that worship uh, Christ and uh, believe in Him have found it also true. He gives strength and guidance to get through hard times. And so turn to Jesus and always turn to Him. Amen. Yeah. And uh, that is the key is when you're uh, down in having troubles, uh, go to the Lord in prayer and uh, he always eases my burdens now in years, Kevin. Definitely does, yes. Okay. And then there's this uh, little prayer at the end. It doesn't say huh, who prayed it or uh, the name. Sometimes at the end of the uh, devotional, I'll have a, a quote of someone. Sometimes it's Carrie Tim Bloom, and it'll be different ones. But today it's just a prayer. It says, Dear Father, I love that the scripture teaches me that you are always with me, no matter what. Even if I can't see your hand working, I can trust your promises to guide, protect, and love. I'm so grateful for that promise. I'm so blessed. Thank you. Amen. Yes. Okay, I, I enjoyed that devotion, Marie. And I know all of our viewers have been enjoying it because we get a lot of comments. So we appreciate those comments. Okay, this last week we've been pretty busy and had quite a few things going on. Mm -hmm. And uh, starting last week on Monday, I didn't tell anyone, but I did have an appointment to go see my heart doctor. And when I got there, uh, they wanted to do an EKG. They said I was due one. So they did an EKG. And when he got through, the doctor came in there and talked to me. He said, everything looked real good. He said that my heart rate was real strong. So he liked that, and uh, my heart rate was 61, and he said that for a lot of older people, they usually have a higher heart rate, and the lower heart rate, if it's you know steady and consistent like mine, he said that's a good sign. And so I talked to him about 
uh, I said, well, back before I had my surgery, about 18 months ago, I said, you had mentioned that I may need to have a heart cath because of uh, the test showed up that I may have a small blockage. And he said, well, based on all the information you gave me and how you're doing and everything, he said, I don't think we need to do it right now. He said, you're doing very good. Mm -hmm. And he said, so we will just continue to monitor. And if you start to have any symptoms, and he told me what to be watching for, which I told him I hadn't had any of those symptoms. Uh, anyway, if I have those, he said, then we'll do the heart cath. But for right now, I'm good. Praise mm -hmm. the Lord. Because yeah. we really didn't want to do a heart cath. Did we? No, I didn't um, like the sound of that when I heard it. <laughs> yeah. And I'm at that point in my life where when it comes to having surgery or having tests and everything, I don't want to do any of these things unless it's necessary because uh, sometimes I'm not sure that all these tests they run is that good for you. <laughs> they will help you find problems, but that's it. Uh, okay. So the, uh, the next day on Tuesday, we had already scheduled we was going to put our car in the shop. Uh, I had one sensor that had went bad on our car and was causing a light to trigger on. And so uh, I took it over to the shop Tuesday morning, put it in the shop, and we were thinking we'd probably get it back Tuesday afternoon, but it ended up it was Wednesday before we got it back. And it was actually about 12 Wednesday before we got the car back. Yeah. But they did call me and ask me while they had it if I wanted them to do some other things. And I said, yeah, go ahead and change the oil and filter and go ahead and rotate all my tires. We wanted it to be in good condition because Marie and I are planning a trip. It still may be two or three months, but we're wanting to go back up to the Smokies, aren't we? Yes. So okay. Just as soon as we're both in good condition, we want to make that trip. So I want to be sure the car was in good shape. Uh, also, on Wednesday, I was able to get out there and cut my grass. And, uh, mm -hmm. and my filter, my gas filter, clogged up on me while I was cutting grass. Yeah. So I ended up having to go buy a new gas filter and replace it. But I knew it was about ready to be replaced anyway because it gave me trouble last year. So we got that taken care of. And that's the way I am. Normally, I do all of my own repairs. Mm -hmm. And actually, on my car, I would have done all those repairs if it had been two years ago. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me get a little drink real quick. I started getting a dry mouth, and I can't talk good. <laughs> mm -hmm. But after we picked up the car on Wednesday afternoon, we took off and we went to the Dollar Tree. Uh, we went and got our car washed. And then we went and seen Kim and the grandbabies. And we just had a wonderful time, didn't we? Yeah. And little Kim, her grandbabies, Addison, or rather her babies, Addison and Avery, are just so precious. But uh, not to mention, she does have her hands full. But oh, yeah. <laughs> she's enjoying it. <laughs> yeah. And I think I, I told everyone last week about her channel. And so I'm going to tell you again, uh, her channel is the Moats Family. And I'll put you a link in the description uh, below the video. And if you want to, you can click on it and go watch her videos. But this last week, she's just getting started back. And she put on a video every day this last week. So we got to see Addison and Avery and see all that they were doing all week long. Oh, yes, we enjoyed it. So I know our subscribers did. Yeah, it was so <laughs> nice because... Before, we're just getting to see her like once a week or something like that. Yeah. Now, all of a sudden, we're getting to see Addison every single day. <laughs> and especially on that video she had yesterday, Addison, she was uh, counting to 10. She was uh, talking about the difference between the opposite of uh, items. And uh, she was saying all the days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all the way through. And uh, just so many things that she could do that we hadn't heard her do. And so yeah. we were amazed, weren't we, Marie? Yeah, she knows her colors. So that's the school teacher and Kim, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, you know, I totally forgot that. But Kim is trained to be a school teacher. Yeah. She works in graphic design. Yeah. But she, is a, she was a school teacher for about, what, two or three years or so? Yeah, at a Christian school. Yeah. Okay. Um, also, one thing that I did mention in our video that we did the other day, uh, we did get a new camera about, it's been almost two weeks ago, so I've been experimenting with it, and right now you're watching the, um, you're watching their 
regular camera that we use all the time and then I'm going to switch over right here and Marie give them a big smile right there and this is our new camera right here for just a few seconds and uh, and I've been doing that a pretty good bit during our testing to switch back and forth to see which one we like and uh, which we're going to stay with our regular camera but the new camera was primarily for when we go off to get pictures of the uh, creeks and the rivers and the flowers and the mountains and all that stuff. It was more of an outside camera, but I've been using it inside too for a little bit of experiment. Okay, so uh, on our videos that we did last week, well, one other thing, Friday afternoon, we decided instead of cooking, we was gonna go out to eat. So we went to uh, Fazoli's and we ordered spaghetti and salad. So we had a good meal there, didn't we, Marie? We did. Okay, so on our videos for last week, the first video we had was our Sunday chat last week. And so if you missed that, be sure and go back and watch our Sunday chat from last week. The uh, second video we did was the buttermilk brownies. And that was the recipe that Marie found in her Amish community cookbook. Yeah, and mm. if you don't like buttermilk, don't worry, you can't taste it. <laughs> and they, they were delicious. Um, some people say that it uh, is about the same thing as a Coca-Cola cake, if you like a uh, Coca-Cola cake. But uh, it's been so long since I made a Coca-Cola cake, I can't remember how it tasted, but I know those uh, mm -hmm. buttermilk brownies uh, in the Amish cookbook was very good. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of people say it reminded them of the Texas uh, sheet cake. And it is similar to that too. Mm -hmm. well, but I thought it, a lot of them said Coca-Cola cake too. They did some okay. of them, yeah. <laughs> uh, but they were extremely delicious and just so yeah. moist. Mm -hmm. And I think we had one brownie left over about four days after you made them. Mm -hmm. And I ate that last brownie. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was still delicious even four days later. Yeah, I really... Um, don't need to be making um, desserts. I have slowed down on them because Kevin's not supposed to eat them, and uh, but it's hard to do because uh, a lot of uh, our viewers they like to see the uh, well the desserts too. So. Well, I like the brownies too, and yeah. and I am watching my blood sugar real close, and even though it's a little bit higher than I want to be, uh, as I was talking to some people. Mine's not nowhere near as high as some of my friends. Oh, and yeah. So, so I'm happy with it, but I don't want it to get out of hand. No. Okay, the next video we did, we did a What's for Dinner video. And uh, that day, uh, actually we cooked that video on the day that we went to my heart doctor, didn't we? Yeah. And uh, I cooked barbecue chicken, uh, fried okra, and cream corn. And we had a lot of comments on that cream corn. Uh, that is the McKenzie's brand, mm -hmm. and it, we buy it at Walmart's. It's frozen and comes in a one pound uh, tube. And that is white silver queen corn. And that is some of the best tasting cream corn. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people commented that they could not find it where they live at. Mm -hmm. So they may not carry it all across the United States. But I'm glad they carry it here because we really love it, don't we, Marie? We do. And we've been buying it for years, haven't we? Mm -hmm. We also buy the yellow because a lot of times you can't find the white. Mm -hmm. But we love both of them. Uh, in fact, we still got one yellow out there in the freezer, Marie. Mm -hmm. and we may cook that real soon. Okay. Um, and speaking of what's for dinner, one of our videos this coming week, we're going to try to do a video using some of our uh, canned foods out of the pantry uh, like we did about a week ago and do another meal with just canned foods from the pantry. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a good idea on that. Okay, the next video we did came out Friday evening and that was where we went to the Dollar Tree, the car wash, we went to Kim's house, we went to Paris Lake, and mm -hmm. we also went to Silver Creek. And we recorded that video footage over a total of two days, didn't we, Marie? Yeah. And, and when we was down at the Silver Creek, we noticed that they had this little church built, oh, yeah. built out in front. And uh, we uh, we thought it was a place where uh, you could go get books and then return them and stuff. And it was, but it was also a place where uh, you could get uh, food for the day. It said uh, 
get what you need for today. And so in, in there it had different canned goods and different things that if you were hungry you could uh, go over there and open up the door and just um, get what you needed to eat for that day. And I thought that was uh, a really good gesture for that church to do. Mm -hmm. And so um, I'm going to be dropping something by and putting it in it too. Yeah, we've got plenty of canned foods yeah. and so we will take a We'll get one box and we'll take a box full of canned goods over there and put in there because they were about, it had food in it but it didn't have a lot that yeah. particular day so we will take care of that and help them out. Okay, and then speaking of videos that we're going to do, uh, we had, I think it was two or three weeks ago we did the video about the Walmart uh, prepping haul. Mm -hmm. And so we've got some other items that we want to buy to add to our prepping from Walmart and so this coming week we're going to try to do that video also mm -hmm. and it just depends on how we feel if we strong enough we're going to get there and do it all them, Ray. Yeah. Okay so that covers about everything for this last week. Now some of you are probably looking at the title of our video and you noticed it said who's got shingles. Mm -hmm. So between me and Marie who do you think has shingles? And so what we'll do, we'll, we'll do it like a game show, Marie. Put your hand up here. The person that's got shingles has to hold their hand up in the air. So uh, who's got shingles? <laughs> okay, I guess I'm going to have to own up to it. But um, I noticed uh, Tuesday I was starting to eat pretty bad, and hurting and feeling terrible. And by Wednesday... I was broke out with shingles and they're on my back and they're on my side around toward my stomach area yeah. and so uh, I'll just be honest with you these things are miserable. Yeah, I uh, heard they are. I don't have shingles but I do have dry skin and that is miserable. Also I, I itch every single day from it and I put lotion on it and uh, so I don't have them, thank goodness, but I do have the itching part. <laughs> <laughs> well, on the shingles, uh, Marie and I both, we've never had shingles mm -hmm. before. Our doctor had recommended we get the shingles vaccination, and this was back about the time COVID come out. And so we just never did go get it, and we kept putting it off. And, uh, and one so. of the reasons I didn't want to get it, too, is because I've heard a lot of people that do get it, they're really, they feel horrible after they get it, yeah. but not everybody does. So um, don't let that discourage discourage y'all that are thinking about getting it. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so here's how I'm treating my shingles. I did, uh, I got a calamine lotion that I'm putting on the uh, actual sores. And I was able to c uh, contact my doctor's office. Let me get a drink right quick. Okay, I was able to contact my doctor's office and, and talk to the doctor. And Lori, uh, she's our doctor, and she's one of the best ones in Rome, trust me. <laughs> yes, but, uh, we she, think so, don't we? <laughs> absolutely, yeah. So she uh, recommended that I start taking an antiviral medicine, and so she sent me a prescription to the pharmacy, and I went over and picked it up that afternoon. And I believe she said it would take about three days for it to really start to help some. But the main thing is it would help me to get over a little quicker and it wouldn't last quite as long. Yeah. So we'll, we'll find out how that works. The, um, so I've got two questions because we've got a lot of viewers. And I know I've, I, some of you have requested prayer for when you had shingles. So I know a lot of you have been through it before. So I've got two questions. One... If you take the vaccine or get the vaccination for shingles, can you still catch shingles afterwards? And so if you know the answer to that or if you've had it happen to you, be sure and leave a comment down there because there's going to be a lot of people watching this video want to know, you know, that's going to be one of their questions. Okay, second question I got is, after I have shingles right now and I get well, can I catch it again? And will I, could I have it twice? 
And so those are important questions to me because I'm going to be honest with you. If somebody says, yeah, you can catch it again, I'm going to talk to my doctor and as soon as I can, I'll go get the vaccine for it because I don't want to go through this again. I've only been dealing with it since Wednesday and it is absolutely miserable. <laughs> oh, and I am taking Tylenol for the pain. So that's a, and let's see, and I have one other question. Uh, if you had the shingles before, how long did it last and how long did it take before you start feeling better? Mm. And so those are good questions, aren't they, Marie? Yeah, can you catch shingles from someone else? I believe we read that it's not contagious, okay. person to person. <laughs> All right. And so, uh, and these other questions, I could Google them, but I would rather hear from the people that watch our channel that have actually been through it, mm -hmm. or maybe their spouse has been through it, and they know exactly what they're having to deal with. Right. And so uh, I had already talked to uh, one of our uh, relatives that their father-in-law had been through it, and uh, and she made the statement that uh, that it was very uh, painful for him. He really had a hard time dealing with the pain. Yeah. And so, and it is painful, but I've always had a high tolerance for pain. So, and so even though it's bothered me, I'm making it. <laughs> so, but so far, just uh, Tylenol. Okay, Marie, that's probably about all I've got to talk about today. Uh, we could probably did an entire video on the shingles, but I don't want to bother everybody with the shingles. <laughs> it's not a fun subject to talk about. But we did have a lot of fun this week, and, mm -hmm. and like I said, we just love watching Kim's uh, channel. Mm -hmm. She started putting videos on. This last week, she did one every day, and she told me she's not going to do one on Saturday and Sunday, but on Monday, she'll do like a recap and show everything they did over the weekend so i thought that was a real good idea for her and uh, her channel is doing real good i know that a lot of you have been going over and watching her videos and i just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart i appreciate it i appreciate you subscribing to her channel uh that'll help her out quite a bit okay yes and you men that like carvin jonathan that's her husband he mm -hmm. uh, has a channel too and uh, he does a lot of different um uh, things with his carving and they're really mm -hmm. unique he does some good wood carving mm -hmm. uh, Jonathan also loves to go fishing yeah and I told him I said you need to take your camera with you when you go fishing and start recording uh, especially when you catch some of those uh, good bass yeah I think he's won some <laughs> good bass <laughs> I think he's won some uh, tournaments he has him and his brother they go to different tournaments over at Lake Weiss mm -hmm. and, um, and they enjoy it yeah. Okay, I guess that's all we got for this week. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed our Sunday chat. We sincerely appreciate everyone watching our videos mm -hmm. uh, this coming week. We've got some real good ideas. If we can make everything come through, we'll be happy, won't we, Marie? We will. <laughs> and so uh, y'all have a great week. We love you, and we'll see you on our next video. And uh, y'all keep coming in your prayers uh, this week because I know that He's going to need them. If shingles is like everybody says it is, and I can tell it's pretty bad <laughs> for Calvin, but he's doing good and he's hanging in there, and I can tell it, that it, it's painful, but <laughs> like I said, he's been through a lot, so he, he, he does have a good tolerance for pain. And so uh, we're keeping y'all in prayer, and we thank y'all for keeping us in prayer. And so... Uh, Amen. Y'all do what you love and love what you do, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.